Hi everyone, today we are making butter quail or chim cook chimber. When I was walking down the streets of Saigon, I suddenly reckoned an amazing smell in the air that is both familiar and irresistible. It recalled my good old days, uh, hanging out with friends after school, chit-chatting over a fragrant fried quail dish and baguette. The quails are pre-fried once until quite golden brown and display on the cabinet to attract the customer passing by and only when the customer order then they will be refried for the second time until uh, really golden brown and crispy. It's served with Vietnamese mint rau ram some carrots and daikon pickles, and cucumber. The seller also put some salt and chili in a small package and sealed it with the heat of the frying pan. I think that is really clever. <laughs> After deep fried, the quails look really shiny and thoroughly golden brown. The quail meat is really tender and succulent. I'm so tempted to give it a try. So let's begin. Ellen's recipes. The recipe calls for six quails. You can buy them frozen at Asian store. If you can buy them fresh, then use a pair of kitchen scissors to open the cavity and remove the innards. For the marinade, you're gonna need 5 spice powder, just half a teaspoon, um, a little bit go a long way, a teaspoon of chicken stock, a teaspoon of honey or corn syrup, half a teaspoon of salt, 3 teaspoons oyster sauce, 3 teaspoons light soy sauce, tablespoons of minced garlic and shallots and half a teaspoon of pepper give it a really good mix wear on clothes and massage the marinade on each and every quail then cover and leave to marinate for uh, two to three hours at least or overnight in the fridge now heat a generous amount of oil in a frying pan until you see small bubbles appear around the chopstick or a small piece of garlic drop into it. Gently drop in the marinated quail and uh, deep fry until golden brown. The quail bangs back uh, when deep fried. Maybe that's why the vendor inserted a skewer to keep the quail flat. If you don't like or can't fry quails, chicken wings are a great alternative. I'm cutting them in half so they brown more evenly. When they are all nicely golden brown, take them out and place on paper towel to drain off the excess oil. If you prefer a healthier version, you can also bake them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about um, 20 minutes. If they're not golden brown enough, you can brush the marinade all over the quails or you mix a teaspoon of vinegar with a teaspoon of honey and brush on the skin of the quail. We are making butter quail, so of course you will need butter. In Vietnam, we mostly use margarine, um, but feel free to use butter if you like. Melt about 2 tablespoons of butter in a large saucepan or a wok under low heat, and then add a teaspoon of minced garlic. Fry until it gets really aromatic. Then add in all the quails. Give them a really good toss so the quails are well coated with the butter and garlic. Mmm, it smells so good. That's it, we are done. You just display on a plate with some Vietnamese mint or raw ram, some carrots and green papaya or daikon pickles. 
and a small condiment bowl of salt and pepper. Squeeze in some lime juice or gumquat juice. Gumquat is so fragrant and has great flavors. Also add some minced chilies. And don't forget to cut cucumbers into chunks. Making use of the butter garlic bits in the pan, we're gonna add in the remaining of the marinade, uh, a dash of water, and bring to a boil. You're gonna be in love with the sauce when you tear a piece of baguette and dip into it. It's so, so, so tasty. Let's try out the quails. Mmm, really, really good. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Vietnamese food. If you decide to give this recipe a try, don't forget to take a photo of your food and upload on Instagram with hashtag Helen Recipes. I'm really happy and always excited to see them, just like these excellent photos that I have received uh, last week. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.